Wix Studio tutorial, how to use Wix Studio without any code. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with Wix Studio. So Wix Studio is a design focused tool that allows you to create super immersive websites with an amazing integration of AI. They help you sell all types of applications, services, or products, and they have multiple different templates that can help you in getting started with as well. Plus they have team workflows that help you in multitasking and building different websites all at once with your team. Now let's get into Wix Studio and how you can build professional websites without coding and be able to actually sell these kinds of websites because oftentimes people don't want to buy a Wix store or a Wix website. They want something that's different and with Wix Studio, you can actually accomplish all of that. So we're going to head on over to Wix.com slash studio and click on start creating. Now we're going to continue on and click on try Wix Studio. So you don't want to go to Wix.com because Wix Studio is a more advanced tool. So after that, you can choose, you know, if you're working individually as a freelancer or as an agency. So let's say we're working as a freelancer and we are working with marketing types of services. And then we're just going to click on get started. Now, once you click on get started, you will see Wix Studio's basic information where you can, you know, discover different websites that have been made with Wix Studio, as well as some more information about the platform. Now, we're going to dive right into building our site with Wix. So we're going to click on create new site on the top right over here. And once you do that, you can choose from two options. So first off, you have the option to start with a blank canvas so you can really do whatever you want in that particular canvas you can build something from scratch that is absolutely unique to you then you can also start with a template now starting with a template can help you in building a more tested a tried and true kind of website so i prefer that i start with a template however after you work with a couple of templates on wix studio it can be super efficient for you to start with a blank canvas as well so once you enter wix studio you will see multiple different types of templates now in these templates you have tech-based templates consulting templates portfolio store retail multiple different niches of templates as well so you even have a multi-purpose wide frame this type of template is very generalized so you can really put in whatever you want marketing templates real estate project launches beauty and aesthetic center so there's like a lot that you can do with these templates so we're gonna build a retail store with these so i'm gonna click on edit over here and i'm gonna begin with this template over here now this will open up the wix studio template editor now this is different from the basic wix website builder because it has more tools it's more interactive and it has a bunch of different customizations that you're not going to get access to directly on the wix website editor now once you complete the loading process you will actually see your desktop and how it's going to look like on a desktop now you will see that on the right it will display if this is like a desktop view then on the top you can choose a tablet view a mobile view as well but i'm going to continue on with a desktop view now once you do that you can click on any elements to get started with editing now the first thing we're going to do is click on the header and then on the header you will see how it's split up so it's done uh, horizontally or if you want it vertical you can do with a vertical header now, i want this to be horizontal so we're going to keep it over there but you guys can see this is super customizable so you might notice how the logo actually ended up going over there which is not something that we want so keep in mind because of the high level of customization it's very easy for you to actually make a mistake in this but it's very easy to go back on it you can just click on the undo button on the top now we're going to get started with building our own site so i'm going to click on the header over here you can click on these items to get more information about the header now i'm going to click on the text and i'm going to click on edit text and we will add our own brand name so our brand name is jordan now this is our brand name however if we want to add a logo uh, with an image instead we can upload that as well so you can see you have create ai text text editor and on the right we have all our text information such as the design the typography and more then you have the interactions so 
if you want this to have any kind of animation if it should hover if on upon click it triggers an animation if it scrolls if it's looping and more and then you have your other options with which you can actually get inspired and find some more content now if you want to replace this with an image you're going to click on the top left over here and click on add elements now you can click on image over here and once you do this you are going to attach this image to the top now you're going to resize this obviously so it fits better and what i like to do is i have to click on the image click on change image over here and i'll upload the media first so it's easier for me to resize my image so i'll just go on ahead and upload our logo that we have somewhere around here like this so i'll just open up our logo over here into our wix studio website now once we upload our logo we're going to click on update and we have just added our logo now once you do that you are going to take your header and you can always increase the size of your header and you know how it's going to be laid out and now i'm going to remove this section which is like the uh, title that has been added and instead i'm going to move my logo and then i'm just going to resize it so it fits better like this placing it over here selecting the logo and then resizing it a bit and now I'm just going to place this at the center. Now, just like that, we have added our own logo. And then behind that, we have this full length header. Now, for this, I want to click on change image. And if we want, we can upload our own media over here as well. So let's say we have our own media files that we want to use. We're going to go on ahead, take one of our own images. Let's say we are going to use this image over here. And I'm just going to wait for this to be uploaded so we can insert this into our Wix Studio Editor. Now I'm going to click on Update. And now this has been added. Now after that, you can click on the settings of the image to obviously further fit to the bounding box if I want it to be filled. If when the image is clicked, should something happen, then I can also click on Adjust over here to adjust the colors, the temperature, and some other items. Then I can also choose a crop. So I'm going to crop this image like this so it fits better into our header. And I'm just going to click on Save over here. And you can add text overlays. You can also add some other other options so if you go into adjust over here you can go into background you can add an overlay you can add some text as well into the image now let's say i want to add an overlay to make it more dynamic so i'll add this light leak and we have multiple different types of overlays available so you have this type of overlay these rainbow overlays like this so you can choose whichever one you like and we have more light leak ones i think i'm going to go with one of those and these overlays can also help to make sure that your text on top of your headers is more visible and more noticeable. So I'm just going to go with one of these overlays. And once the overlay has been added, I'll just click on save. And from the bottom of this, you can also change the intensity of the overlays. So we're just going to save this and go back to our studio editor. And now, just like that, we've edited one section. Now, like this, I like to go section by section into editing each individual element of our pages. And once you have completed this section by section edit, you can click on publish on the top right and you will get a free Wix Studio domain or you can connect your own customized domain as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with the Wix Studio. It's super easy, effective, and simple to use. Consider that you can build such amazing looking websites without having to code at all plus these websites are super customizable and once you build your website you can go into your dashboard to add products or add your services you can integrate multiple different applications as well and be able to connect multiple different resources into your website so if you found this video helpful leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more content like this and if there's anything else you'd like to see leave that in the comment box down below below i would love to know what you guys have to say